Today I will be showing you how to set up SIP trunks for your clients using Netophone's IP PBX product line. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Netophone's PRC located at partner.netophone.com and log in with your account. Once you have been logged into your account, the first thing we need to do is we need to generate accounts to be used to create SIP trunks. The way we create these accounts is we first go to Generate Accounts, located over here. And we go ahead and we select how many trunks we want to create and how much money we want to put into the accounts. I'm going to create five accounts today, so my quantity will be five, and my denomination will be one dollar. And The reason why I do so little is because I will have a chance later on to be able to add more money, depending on how much the client wants. Click Submit, and I click Submit again on the confirmation page. And at this point, these accounts are sent over to Netophone's systems to be created. It usually takes about one to two minutes for the accounts to be generated. I will pause the video while this process is taking place. Okay, at this point, the accounts have been generated, and I could see that by clicking on View Order History. And I'm able to see that a new batch was created and it shows me the batch number and the quantity is five and the denominations of one dollar of each. At this point I want to go ahead and create a SIP trunk for a customer. So I would go ahead and go to add a customer and I will choose voice access as the product line. I click continue. At this point I fill in the information about my client. I will create a fake client just for this test to display how to do this. So I'll write Michael test for first name, last name. I have to select the country. In this example, I'll select Aruba. I'll put in fake information over here. So I'll just put 000 test street city test. For the state, I'll say NA and zip, I'll write 0000. Obviously you would want to provide accurate information in these fields when you're filling it out for your actual clients. At this point I'm going to put in the email address. I'll put my email address for this. I'll put in a fake phone number as well. And for the batch number I'm going to go ahead and click this link over here, View Batches and I'm going to select the batch that was just created which is the top one. I'm going to click continue and now I'm going to go ahead and select the calling plan suite which is pay as you go over here is where I will select how much money this SIP trunk will be generated with so for example, you could choose from $10, $25, $50, $100. I'm going to go ahead and select $10. That means that this account will now be generated with $10 plus the $1 that I initially created the account with. I'm going to choose device type as my SIP IPPVX device. For a feature package, I'll choose IPPVX. For the language, you could choose different languages. I'm going to choose English. The dial plan, um, although this fake client is in Aruba. A lot of them like having dial plans of United States. I'll choose United States, but you could choose any dial plan matching to that area. I'll use United States. For the time zone, I will select Aruba. And at this point, I get to choose a phone number, which my client will be able to use now as an inbound number. This comes along with SIP trunking with Netophone. So first I will choose the area, which country I want a phone number in. As you can see, there are many different areas you could choose a phone number from. I will choose USA. You get to choose whether it is a US local number or US toll free. I'm going to choose US local. For state, I'm going to choose New York. Area code, you could choose from any of these area codes. I'll choose 646. Uh, 
then you could choose a little bit of the NPA NXX. I will just choose any one. And then just choose the number you get to this. You have numerous of numbers you get to pick from. I'll just pick the top one and I click continue. At this point, I get to look over the account settings, make sure that everything matches the way I want it. Once I'm sure of it, which I am, I'm going to click submit. As we could see now, the account was created. At this point, I have all the information I need to create this trunk. I have my service account number. This is one number that we need to write down. I have my PIN number. And I also have my phone number, which is up on top. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my IP PBX. In this case, I'm going to be using a Trix box to register this IP, this SIP trunk that has been generated into the IP PBX. So I'm going to go to the IP PBX and I'm going to log into the administrative panel and I'm going to go to the PBX settings. And I'm going to go down to create a new trunk. So I'm going to click trunks and I'm going to click add SIP trunk. And obviously this could be done with all the IP PBXs. I'm using Trixbox as a sample because it's famous, but there's many IP PBXs that you could, all of the famous ones work completely fine with net to phone SIP trunking. So at this point, we're going to fill in the settings for the SIP trunk. We're going to fill in at this point only the mandatory settings. So I'm going to go down to the trunk name and I'm going to write net to phone. By peer details, I'm going to put for host. I'm going to write host equals IP PBX dot net to phone dot com. For your username, I'm going to put the account that we got from the PRC, the service account, which is 376-781-2662. And I will copy this number because I'm going to have to use it again. For the secret, I'm going to put the PIN that I got from the PRC, which is 1822. I'm also going to put in a couple more lines. I'm going to write can reinvite equals no. DTMF mode equals RFC 2833. Progress in band equals never. Port equals 5060. Allow equals G729 and G711 and G723. Next, I scroll down to the user context and I'm going to paste in the account that I had from above. For the secret, I'm going to put the pin 1822. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. For the register string, I'm going to paste in first the service account again, colon, the PIN number, 1822 in this case, at ippbx.nettophone.com forward slash SIP trunking. Now I will submit changes. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to click apply configuration changes. Continue with the reload. And at this point, Netophone SIP trunk has been generated. The next thing I need to do is I need to make an outbound route so that when somebody dials an international call, it will be placed through the Netophone SIP trunk. So I click on outbound routes and I'm going to call this route name international. And for dialer patterns, I wanted that if anyone dials 011 for international, and then I put a dot at the end to mean anything that follows 011, 
the call will be called over this route. And for the trunk sequence, I want to choose the Netophone trunk. So I choose SIP Netophone. I click Submit Changes. And at this point, I click Apply Configuration Changes. Continue with Reload. And now if anybody dials 011 and then another number following, it will go over this international trunk, which is this route, which is using the Netophone trunk. And obviously you could add many dial patterns however you want to add for that area you could add to match any dial patterns to the net -to phone trunk. The next thing I want to do is I want to create an inbound route for the phone number that was generated. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and take the number that was generated for us, the 646 number. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in over here where it says DID number. And I'm going to delete the dashes. We just want the numbers itself without the dashes. And we could leave the rest of the settings the same. You could add something if you want. I'll add a description, right? Net to phone inbound. But most of these fields are optional. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and tell it that when the call comes in, it should go to my test extension. I click Submit. And now I'm going to click Apply Configuration Changes. I'm going to click Continue with Reload. And at this point, I've created a net -to phone trunk with outbound and inbound features. That concludes our tutorial for today to show you how easy it is to set up net -to phone trunks for your client and to be able to help you generate extra revenues. Thank you.